Well, today we've been talking a lot about Halloween celebrations, but there's even more celebrations coming our way that we got to get you ready for. So to tell you about a grateful celebration, we have Mark Carter with the Center for the Inland Bays, a Delaware Center for the Inland Bays, of course. Thanks for being here, Mark. Ah, uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, happy to have it. you. So if, if someone's maybe not familiar with the Center for the Inland Bays, if you don't mind, just real quick, giving us kind of a, an update of what you guys do, what your, what your, what your mission is. Gotcha. So the Center for the Inland Bays is a national estuary program. Mm -hmm. So there's actually 28 of them around the country, oh. and we're the one that works on the three inland bays. So think of Little Assawoman, Indian River, and Rehoboth Bays. So mm -hmm. that's our area and their watershed. And we're also a local nonprofit as well. So we're a little unique in that all NEPs or National Estuary Programs are not nonprofits, but we are set up as so because we want to take care of the backyard for our communities. I love that. And the way you're doing that is a lot of hard work, but also a lot of fun involved. You have a really yeah. fun uh, event coming up. Like I mentioned before, a grateful celebration. So I'm trying to make sure I say that right. It can get a little tricky on the it's tongue. a little tongue tie. It yeah. can be. <laughs> uh, but tell us about this event. You've had it going on now for a while. So this is kind of our culmination event for the center turn 30 this year. So nice. we've been working for 30 years and, um, you know, we're making some progress, mm -hmm. but there's the work to be done. And one of the things is we can't do it alone. So mm -hmm. we wanted to celebrate those 30 years and welcome the community out to celebrate that. Yeah. Our birthday technically was in July, but That's it's a, okay. a little hard to do things in the middle of summer around here. <laughs> so um, we wanted to hold a fall festival to celebrate that and recognize the community, our volunteers, um, business partners, organizations that we work with and things like that. Very cool. Yeah, a belated birthdays, you know, everyone always likes that. <laughs> it's like you get to celebrate twice. Uh, so this event is going to have a lot of music, a lot of good food, a lot of good people. What can people expect when they go? So there's a lot of fun set up for the day. It's 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. Okay. on Saturday, November 2nd. And um, we've got uh, three bands playing through the day. So the listening booth has a duo that's going to play early in the morning. Nice. And then they're uh, donating to uh, provide sound for the other bands for the day, which is a big thank you to them. Yeah. And um, we've got uh, Dragonfly Trinity, a little three-piece playing sort of some bluegrass kind of folk style music. And then Homestead Bluegrass will be playing in the afternoon for us. So three bands through the day. We also have a shucking contest. So, nice. Um, local Inland Bay oysters from Nancy James Oysters out there, one of the oyster farmers in our bays. Mm -hmm. They're going to uh, donate oysters so that we can have a little shucking contest. And um, we've got uh, ice cream coming from Agape. They're going to release horseshoe crab tracks. That's um, funny. Signature brand new ice cream. I love um, that. So inspired by the bays, food trucks. And then we have some artisans as well. Mm -hmm. So we'll have, um, think of some, you know, different types of pottery. Um, we have a local um, group that does like handmade bags and things like handbags and things. Oh. That's really fun. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have a soap maker coming in, a variety of things like that. And then a big highlight is the kids games that we'll have mm -hmm. in the day. we we'll are have a, think of old school carnival style, um, you know, um, we'll have pin the tail on the horse crab, things oh, like that. Oh, that's cute. And um, it's a free event as well. So we encourage folks to come out and uh, enjoy a day with us out under the pines at Camp Arrowhead. Yeah, definitely. I think that sounds so cool and such a family-friendly event. But of course, you know, the, the Center for the Inland Bays, too, you want to celebrate the public, you know, all, all that you do. But you also have an awards uh, ceremony of sorts going on, a few different awards. Tell us about what you're doing to honor some of the people with the center. Absolutely. So the center can't do it alone. Yeah. We, um, we rely on about 200 volunteers that help us out throughout the year. Wow and we're also partners. We work with a variety of partner um, agencies, businesses, mm -hmm. other nonprofits, communities. So we have our Friends of the Bays Awards, which are going to be, we have a, a partner, mm -hmm. um, an organization, and then also a volunteer of the year that uh, comes into that. And new this year, we also, I believe, have a youth category uh, nice. working with some schools and different things like that. That's great. So that's brand new. And then think of uh, old school high school where uh, you have uh, you know superlatives in your yearbook. Oh yeah. So we do our volunteer record condition like that, um, might be the most horseshoe crabs count it, um, things like that That's to cute. celebrate these uh, folks that give a, a whole bunch of time. Getting up at two in the morning to count horseshoe crabs is a commitment. Mm -hmm. um, you know, going out in the water when it's cold and freezing to count fish and survey them with us. Um, there's a lot of a lot of hard work that goes in. We want to recognize those folks. That's really cool. Well, we should really be throwing the party for you guys. I mean, you do all this hard work, but thanks for throwing the party for us and letting <laughs> all of us get to go too. Uh, so if you could just remind us the day and times people can mark it on their calendar. Absolutely, it's Saturday, November second. Mm -hmm. The time is 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's at Camp Arrowhead. And one item to note is. Um, 
There is limited parking there, okay. so we're going to have a shuttle service running from Love Creek Elementary School as well. So um, if you um, want a carpool, we encourage that, or park at the school, and Jolly Child will give you a nice little drive over. Nice. And uh, we'll have all kinds of other fun going on out there, so you can make a day of it and bring some friends. Sounds good. And if you're confused like me, yes, November is this weekend. <laughs> first, When I was first talking to him, I'm like, so November, next weekend? No, it is this Saturday, so mark your calendar, bring the kids, and uh, again, it's free. So that'll be great. Well, Mark, thank you for everything you do for our bays, for our wetlands, but also for being here today. Thank you so much for having us. And uh, we hope to see you this weekend. Maybe. Yes, yeah, it sounds like a really fun event. So I know a lot of you guys will be there. Get ready to go, but also get ready for more Coast Life. We have some Halloween safety we have to talk about when we get back. Don't forget, for even more Coast Life, follow us on our social media pages. Not only can you rewatch segments or see things that maybe you missed, You'll find extended interviews, exclusive content, and behind the scenes looks of Coast Life. So don't forget to like and follow us on social media for even more.